Hey, what's up, YouTube? Wow, I know it has been a while since I've made a tutorial, and uh, I apologize. I just been uh, occupied with a lot of things, and uh, excuse me if I'm rusty at this. Uh, it's been a while since I talked in front of the mic, and it kind of feels a little bit different and weird. But anyway, today in the tutorial, I'm going to be teaching how to make a black style icon. Rocket Doc uses uh, different types of icons, but uh, yeah. You can use this type of icon for your rocket dock, for your object dock, for your actual programs and stuff. But anyway, let's get started. To do this, you're going to need Photoshop. Any version doesn't really matter. But anyway, yeah. You're just going to create a new layer. Any size you want, really. Um, I'm just going to put it that dimension for you know, YouTube reference. So first I'm just going to make a normal background, it doesn't really matter what it is. Um, just so it could look a lot better. Damn it. Okay, inner shadow. Okay, just, you know, just something random, so you don't have to be staring at a black guy, um, a white icon, or black icon, it doesn't matter. But anyway, so to get started, we're going to go over here to the rectangular tool. We're going to want to use the rounded rectangular tool. So I'm just going to hold shift and uh, drag and make an icon. I'm going to make mine a bit bigger, but you can use yours any size you want. I'm just gonna rasterize the layer. You don't know how, you just right click on the layer of the round rectangle, you just go to rasterize layer and it'll rasterize it perfectly. So, what you're gonna wanna do next is you're gonna wanna double click on your rectangle layer, which I'm gonna name it Icon. I'm gonna double click on it, add a drop shadow. Put the opacity to 50, the distance to 5, leave the spread, the style in 1, um, angle, I use 150 as an angle. Next we're going to go to bevel and emboss, so you're just going to want to check that. You can use the styles, inner bevel, the technique is going to be chisel hard. Depth is going to be 100, size is going to be 0, angles be going to be negative 100, the altitude is going to be 64, and it looks about right. Yeah. Next, what you're going to want to do is you want to go to gradient overlay, and you're going to have to create this gradient, which is pretty simple. Leave it on black, and you're just going to want to double click on this side. And the color is well, the HTML, the H HTML, I'm sorry, color code is 45474A. You just click OK. This is that type of gradient, it's going to be reflected. You know what? We're going to change the style to linear. And, uh, we're going to add the scale to 100 and then you're going go to go you're going to want to go to stroke and uh, the size is going to be 1 the fill type is going to be gradient now what i recommend doing is go to, going to gradient gradient overlay and saving this gradient by naming it whatever you want and just click new and it will save the gradient as the last one that's what i recommend doing but you're going to have to use the stroke again I'm just going to click on the, the gradient, go all the way down, use it, click on the one I used, click OK, 
I'm going to put the style to reflected, reverse, angle at zero, and just click OK. So we got all that basic stuff done, and we're just going to want to get the sort of like a carbon-like effect, I guess. So you're going to want to click on Layer Mask. And next, what you're going to want to do is, in the description, there's going to be a link to, so you can download a pattern. And uh, you can look up tutorials. There'll be an annotation how to install patterns onto your Photoshop right around the corner. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the Paint Bucket tool. And make sure you click on Pattern. And you go to the Chemical Effects Pattern. And just click OK. I recommend using the first one. Uh, I don't know what's it called. It doesn't really have a name. And you're just going to want to click it right there. So it gives it more of a carbon like effect, as you can see. Yeah, it looks alright. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to convert it to a smart layer so it'll all be merged into one. And I'm going to rasterize it again. And from there, I want to add, oh, I'm going to double click on it again. I'm going to go to gradient overlay. And blend mode, I recommend putting it on overlay. There you go. So just put the scale to 150. Just default gradient, angles 90. And just click OK. From there, you're going to want to make a new layer on the bottom left or uh, bottom right hand corner right next to the trash can. It's a new layer. Now what you're gonna want to do is you want to go to the pen tool which is over here on top of the text tool and you're gonna want to create more of a wave starting from like right here. Drag up drag down uh, I don't like that drag down nah. uh, just mess around with it until you get like a good one There you go, that's perfect. And just link it. And I'm gonna you're gonna wanna go to make selection. Make sure to right click, go to make selection, feather radius zero, new selection. And you're gonna wanna go on top where it says edit. And you wanna go to fill. Use content of white mode as normal, opacity is zero. Which just hit control D to deselect. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to right click on the layer, this white part. You want to right click on it and create clipping mask. And the opacity for that would be on 5. Uh, just move that around. Just going to mess with it a little bit. So I got more of like a neat shine to it. So now what I'm gonna want you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna gonna uh, yeah, can't even talk right now. You're gonna create a new layer and you're gonna go up here to the rectangular marquee tool. You're gonna wanna make a smaller rectangle about like that. You're going to want to go to edit, fill it, content of black, and click OK, deselect. What I like to do is I, li I like to add more of a triangle right here so it looks like it's bending into it, sort of like this. I'll click on this corner, 
click back there. Make selection. Edit. Fill with black. Or, I'm gonna want to create a new layer for that. Edit. Fill. Black. Deselect it and put it under the icon layer so it gives it more of like an effect like it's going behind it like a wrap around effect I'm just gonna duplicate that layer and go to edit transform and flip horizontal and put it on the other side just line that up right there and that's perfect so we got that down now we're gonna want to merge these three layers together by holding control and clicking on each of them you're going to want to merge all those layers or not don't merge them we'll do by step by step and you're just going to want to double click on the main rectangle that you made you want to go to gradient overlay go click on the gradient click on that gradient you made earlier we're going to make it into A reflected, yeah, a reflected style with the scale of 150 angle doesn't really matter to me. You click OK, and you can do the same for these two layers. Which I'm going to combine those two layers on the bottom, merge them, gradient. Add the scale. It's right there. You can add sort of a, a neat little stroke. Size one. Oh whoa. <clears throat> Fill type. Make it a pattern. No, not a pattern. A gradient. We're gonna use that same gradient again. Reverse it, make it radical, and leave the scale to 100. So see, it gives it more of a shine for itself. And I'm gonna do that with this size is one. Fill type is gonna be on gradient. The gradient's gonna go all the way here. Click on that. Make sure it's reflected. Or radical doesn't really matter for that one so that's basically it you can then add let's say the Windows Internet Explorer icon or something for now I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use one let's say I'm gonna use the YouTube one so I'm going to shrink it down to about there, put the layer all the way on top. Okay. So I got the YouTube logo right there. Right click and rasterize it. Now you don't have to do this, you can basically at this point do whatever you want, but I just want to show you guys what it would look like. Put a color overlay, make it white, opacity, like that. I'm going to put an inner glow, which would be black inner glow, make it normal. And click OK. And put the opacity down to this. And just the inner glow opacity. There you go. And raise it up a bit. See, so at this point, you just mess with it. That's what I'm basically doing. And I see how you have a carbon effect, and just put text right here. 
YouTube. And that's basically it. So that's your cool little logo right here that you've made. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And please support this video. Share it to your friends, your family. If this really helped. Um, first tutorial in a really long time. And I apologize it wasn't the greatest. But, you know, I tried. And I'm going to try to produce more and more videos at a time. Alright. Thanks for watching. And peace out, guys.